Okay, well, welcome back everyone. I kind of took a little debrief here, but where we ended off last was uh, we had our uh, White House added. Unfortunately, the image is too fat, and we got to kind of reduce this in order to make sure that this fits our slider, which actually has a maximum height of, if you look, 550 pixels. Let's see this bad one right here, 500 pixels. Uh, for whatever reason, as always, the images have exceeded that amount, so we got to do something about that. Now, if we look, uh, we can see the image wrapped here. So what we want to do is we actually want to constrain the height of this image. Naturally, we probably want to try constraining the, the image itself. So let's see what happens when we do that. So it's in uh, slide image. It's in a thumbnail class, and it's an image element. And let's give it a height of uh, 200 and... Let's give it a height of 300 pixels. Let's give it a max height. So it can be a little bit smaller than that if it needs to be, but it only has a max height of 300 pixels. So if we do that, we get some pretty interesting stuff. Unfortunately, the thumbnail actually still uh, fits the whole width of the element, uh, the whole width of the column. So we actually have to do some work around that. Um, and that's got to do with some of the settings here. So what I'd suggest doing in a case like this is actually applying a new style called house thumb and let's also give that a max height of 300 pixels uh, and that's actually instead of applying it to the thumbnail let's have it in a house thumb and what we want to do is we want to apply our house thumb uh, to this guy over here uh, oops I already already uh, I already typed it in from before so let's just keep it at is so I have the thumbnail here and then inside I have the image and so what I want to do is I want to apply the house thumb class in addition to the thumbnail class for which the styling is defined right here. We want to apply that at maximum height. So let's see what happens. Okay, so what's interesting is that the image is actually still too big. It's about big, it's about uh, too large by the same size as the uh, border here. So I think what I might want to do, uh, I want to guess that it's about 10 pixels, something like that. So let's see if I do something like this. Interesting stuff. Let's see where I'm at with this. I have my house thumb, I have my image. I actually want my image, not my house thumb. I want my image to be smaller than the containing thumbnail so that I have that border consistent. Cool, almost done. It's, it seems to be fitting, but I still have the white stuff. I also want to make sure that I apply it to um, I apply it to the White House, so I want to do the house thumb here, and let's see what kind of stuff I have happening now. So I still have the uh, presidential house for the Ukraine, as well as the presidential house for the, uh, the US, but I have this white space around. So what happens is the thumbnail always fits the uh, whatever it's inside of, despite, in spite of its contents. So what we would want to try and do is, rather than having it spread it over the entire content, and rather than it being fixed to some sort of width, we maybe might want to push it to one side so that it, no, it doesn't necessarily try and spread itself over the width of the content. And the way that we want to do that, I actually accidentally opened my notes app so it might pop up, uh, is by pushing it to the right. So if I do that, and there we go. So now I have it wrapped around the content of my image, not the wrapped around to the content of my container. I gave it a max height. I gave the image a smaller max height so it fits within this 10 pixel border and my stuff scales. So this is looking pretty, pretty guten. And at this point, we're done with our carousel. Now we can move on to showing our content and potentially filtering listings.